Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to access websites on your school network using a VPN. Now, I know that schools can be a bit strict when it comes to internet usage, but with a VPN, you can access any website you want. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, before we begin, if at any point you'd like to try any of the mentioned VPNs in this video, you'll find the latest pricing, discounts, and reviews available in the description down below. Now, first, you'll need to choose a VPN. Now, there are tons of VPNs out there, but you want to find one that's fast, reliable, and has servers in the locations where you want to access the website. Then, once you've found a VPN that suits your needs, it's time to install it on your device. Now, VPNs are compatible on most devices, including iOS, Android, macOS, Windows, and many others. So, just download and install the app, and you're good to go. Now that you've installed the VPN, it's time to connect to a VPN server. You want to choose a server that's located in a country where the website you want to access is available. So if your school doesn't have access to social media sites, you'll need to connect to a server located outside of your school's network in a country where those sites are allowed. And finally, once you're connected to the VPN server, you can now access any website you want. Just open your web browser, type in the website's URL, and start browsing. The VPN will encrypt your internet traffic and make it look like you're accessing the website from the location of the VPN server. Now, when it comes to choosing a VPN, there are a lot of factors to choose from. And I will be mentioning all of them so you can choose the one that best fits your needs. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is Nord VPN and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. And while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming or if you want extra features such as a threat protection, which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then 
Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's going to be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment down below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys and like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.